Welcome back to another episode of Guy Party. This is beautiful Brad. This is Chester, baby! Yeah. <laughs> so it's that time of the year again. It is... Memory Madness! <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I can't do a thing by tell. You say baby a lot, right? Yeah, baby! baby. Is he dead now? He's dead now, right? I don't know. Man. Yeah, he, probably. He probably, yeah. yeah. He, he was an old bastard. Yeah, he was. Yeah, it is that time of year when uh, the college basketball teams are doing their thing and we're looking at tits. Yep, yep, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so if you haven't listened to a Mammary Madness episode before, Mm -hmm. it's much like March Madness. We have 64 contestants yes, uh, in a bracket-style format. The contestants are not necessarily well-endowed, but just delightfully endowed. (laughs) Well put. Very well put. Delightfully endowed (laughs) um, uh, women. Yes. I mean... um, Obviously, we love big tits. Yeah. The bigger, the better. But we can appreciate the small tips. And I'm... uh, Small tips. Small tits. (laughs) And and I don't know about you, but I kind of dig like a chunky nipple sometimes. I do. Like a pointer. Yeah. I mean... I love big tits, but I also appreciate, like, a nice nice handful of tits. So, you know, I mean, all tits aren't created equal. Yep. Um, uh, <laughs> so, this is our third year doing this, um, this tournament. And uh, our first winner uh, was Ms. Alexandria D'Addario. <sighs> the GOAT. I mean, you could not. Yeah. I, I think we, we both kind of knew that's where that one was headed. At that time, those tits were some of the most beautiful tits out in the game. Absolutely. And uh, she's obviously not afraid to show them. She's done it on a number of occasions, which mm. um, is, is just great. And for our sake of uh, rating them or ranking them over mm. another pair of tits, mm. the person that those tits are connected to it's something that we we take into consideration yeah so as the bracket plays out so some of the factors we usually include are personality uh coolness like what have they been in and and if it had that particular set of tits at a particular had a significance on us as children <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> exactly because our second winner uh in 2023 was drew barrymore right right she was a lower seated one she was a bit of a cinderella story maybe we'll have a cinderella story tonight hopefully <laughs> but but um but yeah she was a bit of a cinderella story and i think i went into that one having an idea of who was going to come out champ but barrymore just kept gaining steam and i mean we both fucking love her and in the 90s I mean, she's still cool today. She's she just seems like the sweetest fucking person, and she was yeah not shy about showing her tits back in the day. Ask David Letterman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Barrymore was my crush. Yeah. Right. I mean, she just fucking she just oozes like just good person. You yeah, know? yeah. She yeah. fun. Yeah, just cute. Right. I mean, her tits... Bef- and her tits were fucking great. Yeah, she even had a breast reduction. Her tits were so amazing. Right. I mean, I don't know why she would cut them off, but... I didn't... Maybe we discussed that, but honestly, like, I don't even know if I remember that being the case. And there was somebody who I was... Uh, I've got on the list today that I was like, I almost didn't put her on there because she got a breast reduction, and I was like, that feels like it should dis- disqualify them. <laughs> but, but no, no, Drew Barrymore... I totally, I support chicks who want breast reductions. I suggested it uh, to my wife, not because I don't love her tits, because I fucking love her tits, but she's always having back and shoulder pain. Yeah. And I'm sure having big fucking heaving pair of tits is not helping in that regard. Have you ever seen that, um, I don't know if you do TikTok, but I think it's on Instagram too. He like says the thing like, life sucks, suck it up, be a man. You have big tits. Suck it up. Yeah. <laughs> be a be good for your yeah. <laughs> Be good for your man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares if your back hurts? <laughs> uh, I remember um, there was this episode of uh, Roseanne, the OG, not the Connors. Yeah. Um, the Roseanne, and she um, was getting breast reduction surgery, and and uh, Dan was like really fucking upset about it, <laughs> as he should be. <laughs> right. Right. And I, I just remember even. Then, back then thinking like wow he's not being very supportive because <laughs> they we kept talking about how it was going to make her feel so much better and da, 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 da. and um while she was like uh under anesthesia she had this dream 
and she woke up in this dream and like her doctor came in and it was doogie hauser <laughs> and he's like let's get a look and she stands up and her tits are like fucking like out three feet and and, and she's like ah what is this and he was like what you wanted breast uh, breast enhancement right <laughs> she's like reduction he's like flipping through his charts and he's like nope <laughs> but uh, yeah I, I mean totally supportive of the chicks that want to do that but we love tits yes and this this is uh tits are magical tits are the best and this is an episode to appreciate that in all forms in sizes most but mostly bigger yes yeah. <laughs> so with all that being said there's also the conversation are you a tit man or ass man mm. clearly i feel like we're tit guys oh but, we're tit guys but i also appreciate a great ass oh uh, i mean maybe eventually we could do an ass thing probably maybe not like to this extent yeah. trying to find 64 asses yeah that'd, probably, <laughs> that'd be a smaller bracket right yeah. Well, yeah yeah we could do like um i don't know like uh i, I feel like uh an a, ass one's more of like seeing it in person because i mean it's, i guess it would be harder to capture I, on I, I love a good ass like yeah there's somebody i was even thinking about that t- today like going because like, i was like doing research mm, yes. and, 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 <laughs> and finding our contestants <laughs> <laughs> and one of the ones I, I ran across um that i was like thinking like oh if we ever did an ass one all the way but t- eh. florence pew yeah florence pew is it's i fucking think she's hot as hell she is she doesn't have the greatest tits they're not bad but they're not like memory madness nah yeah but you're making them bracket. her ass is fucking like each one dive in just mm. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> for sure yeah she's got an amazing ass yeah so um that's maybe something for a future episode though yeah all right so before we dive into the memory madness I broke these out into brackets, but we all win together, so it's not really a competition. So how do you, how should we approach this? I mean, do you think just to get the seating out of the way, we just select maybe, or how do you want to? I mean, we've got a few that we're gonna position them in certain brackets. Mm-hmm. And if you want to dive into that and let the beast heads know why we're doing that, or how do you want to approach it? So here's what I'm thinking. I've got a list, and maybe we just go through the list, mm-hmm. and then say, do we feel this is a one seed, a two seed, a three seed, and then go from there? Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, because everybody wins here. Right. And the best hits will, will prevail anyways. Yeah. Or, I mean, if you have certain things in mind, we can just even run through, like, let's do the one, 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 and then, like, if you have somebody in mind, let's... We, maybe we could flesh out the first few ra- like seed levels, like the one, two, and threes, yeah. and then kind of dive in deeper after that. Yeah, yeah. L- let's do that just because, like, I mean, we all love tits here, but being cases in the past, how there were Cinderella stories, we would debate it a little bit because somebody had preference over certain tits than others. So mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, you, you want to dive in then? We'll, we'll go start well, with the one seed? You started off. Uh, you've got the list together for us. So, yeah. All right. Um, Chester West. First first number one seed. It's obvious. It's Sydney Sweeney. Sydney. It's the year, it's the year of Sydney. And just a call back, by the way, Sydney has been on our boards for the third, like from the beginning. Yeah. I saw those tits when I watched Euphoria. Mm-hmm. And those tits have been many places now. And, yeah, I, I mean, so everybody's getting to know these tits, but they're fantastic. What can you say? They hang well. They look very full. They look heavy. They got nice nips. I mean, like, good areolas. Like, the best her tits are ever going to look. They oh, are absolutely. in their prime. Absolutely. I mean, the only way her tits can look better, and here's, here's what I'm thinking, mm-hmm. is when she is... Eight months pregnant with her first child. Yes, first child. First child. Yeah. Second second child, that, that milk's already starting to get out. Of yeah, there, right? and yeah. then titties They're, they're starting suck. to deflate a little bit. Yeah. But that first kid, with the pregnancy boost, and especially right there at the end of the mm. pregnancy, it's going to be full of... It's going to be fucking veiny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, love Hell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me use your list. I'm going to pick a number one, All right, too. Here, um, I'm going to... Just cross. Yeah, I got Sw- Sydney Sweeney on Chester West. All right, here you go. If well, you can read my chicken scratch, though. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good writing, actually. Oh, shit, we got to scratch off to Daria because she won. Because we don't bring them back, right? Are we not doing win- past winners? We're just 
Yeah. You know what? I think that's fair. Okay. That's well, because, I mean, I feel like some of them are always going to be in it, like the Dario. That's, that's true. Okay. I, I didn't put Barrymore in there, so you can just scratch out the Dario, and okay. then we're good. All right. Um, God damn. Well, yeah, I'm going to, over in my west, I'm going I'm to do Selma. Selma, Selma Hayek. Hayek. Classic. Yeah. Desperado. <sighs> She's bad. Um, from dusk till dawn. She's that like scene. 50, 60 and still just looking fucking I, amazing. I think her tits are just continuously getting bigger, too. I, I know. You wonder if they're fucking real. And she says they're real. All right. So I didn't necessarily write these in any particular order. No. Yeah. So I'm going to go with uh, for our next. <laughs> this is a number one still. Right? Yeah, your East Bracket. This is this is a chick who I put into the same category as Barrymore, but I think she has better tits. Heather Graham. Yeah, she's a fucking babe. And she just she seems like Barrymore in the sense that she just seems light and goofy and like you know, like she'd be dope to hang around. Yeah. She has a definitely. cool sense of humor. It'd be a cool hang. Let me get through this uh, list real quick. By the way, the ones on the far right, at least the first few, those were that was when I conceded that I can't come up with chicks who have bared them all. <laughs> yeah. So I got went through just a number of them that haven't necessarily bared them, but the tits look still great. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Emily Ratajkowski. Oh, I didn't put her on my list. Good what? call. Yeah, I forgot about her. She was another one I didn't know who she was until you had brought her I, up in 2022. And, and I and I knew I know her, but I didn't know if like I was trying to keep it more mainstream, and I didn't know if everybody knew her. But if you remember her, that's cool, man. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram. <laughs> God damn, dude! Like I pop banners every. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. If I recall, the thing that really got her. Well, I think she was, like, a well-known model and stuff like that. Yeah. But I think the thing that really I remember her from was that Robin Thicke video. Is that her? Oh, uh, I don't know that one, but I know she was in, like, uh, what was it, like, Gone Girl with Ben Affleck? Okay. I think we're thinking of the same person, but... Yeah. Well, here, we've got the computer pulled up, booze heads, if you want me to bring her up real quick. Yeah, look up Robin Thicke video. Because I think it's her, but I, I could be mistaken. My next number one pick is Leia. Yeah. Because she's a little cutie over there with a fucking smiling puppy face. <laughs> she's like, oh, my fucking doggy vagina rubbed. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, uh, can you see it? Oh, I can see that camel. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I yeah, no, no, the, I know the tits are great. Oh, yeah, see that? Uh, third oh. one. Third, third one. Third one? That's from the uh, Robin Thicke video. Okay, yeah, and then that's her. Um, with Farrell Williams, Blurred Lines, they got sued for it. Oh, damn. You remember that song? Nah, but uh, oh yeah, that's a dope video. She's, she's a and and there's like a there's a censored version of it and there's an uncensored version of it. Really? <laughs> Can you watch them both on YouTube? I can't imagine the uncensored version would be on YouTube with the tits, but look at them fucking glorious fucking. Uh, uh, I mean, bacon hangers. All you gotta do now is just throw a fake baby on the tits, and you can get them out yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Let's talk on that for a second before we advance. <laughs> <laughs> so our GP. H O F member Luke um, has been a little bit obsessed with first and fucking breastfeeding pics <laughs> and the guy party page. Yeah. Amber's already like saying like he's got to stop that. <laughs> Just blowing up motherfuckers' feeds with breastfeeding. <laughs> Post more, Luke. <laughs> but but yeah, apparently it's like. Creepers have found a way to fucking get skirt the rules. Have you noticed like <laughs> half of them are like fake babies? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's keep like, shoving the baby's head. It's yeah, like, it's like smashing it into the tit. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, like, that baby can't breathe. <laughs> but like, like they're feeding it, they pull out the other titty. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, why would you even need to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only for our enjoyment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if how like. Because, you know, like, they're doing that so that they can get away with it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what if you, like, had a chick with her tits out, both of them out, right? Fake baby on one, 60-year-old man on the other. Yeah. Would that fly? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> they both look like babies at them. <laughs> yeah, just get, like, shave his head and everything and, uh, and his whole face, make him smooth. Yeah. <laughs> it's all wrinkly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like two babies. Missing teeth, sliding off. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> has like a fucking neck tattoo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just feeding my boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, where did we leave off? All right. So we're now in the second round. We got our first four. Yeah. So we've got Chester West, Sydney Sweeney, Selma Hayek, Heather Graham, and Emily Ratchatowski. Yes. Yep. Maybe I didn't pick her because I don't want to. I don't can't pronounce her name. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I didn't know who she was until you. I did. Yeah, I'm. I'm a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round two. Who's up? Uh, you are. All right. Uh, you know what? This is again. I love this chick. It just she's she seems cool as fuck, and she seems like a nerd. She is the lead in in a Star Wars. She's made it to the final four a few times. Yep, yeah, Miss Rosario Dawson. Miss mm-hmm. Ahsoka. Yeah, boy. Rosario. I mean, she was also in Clerks. Yeah. Three, or was it two? Two, and three, actually. She did have a, a little cameo in three. But yeah, I mean, she seems like the coolest fucking chick. She does. I remember uh, a comedian, like a, uh, I think it was Amy Schumer, she was talking about how, like, disproportionate relationships are on screen they'll have like and this is the example she used with rosario dawson in the movie zookeeper kevin james who's the lead in that Mm. has like this blonde girlfriend that like just he pines over but she treats him like shit and then like the other girl that is like a fellow zookeeper that's like he ends up with like i guess settling for hmm. is rosario dawson oh yeah settled for <laughs> rosario right right, right. over some fucking blonde gang yeah <laughs> just, just like uh, in clark's too dante would never land fucking rosario no, dawson. never no. i've met that motherfucker he's like <laughs> us yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he'd land some fucking new jersey trash heifer yeah like some 400 pound fucking slob all right <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rosario Dawson, cool as fuck. Yeah, whatever. yeah. All right, all right. Let me What'd borrow you your list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick my number two. Sorry. Oh no, no, it's cool. Um, goddamn a Gilpin. Ugh. The tits are legit. I'm gonna go Holly Berry on mine. Hell yeah. Let's see. All right. Oh shit. Let me scratch her off. Where the fuck was she? Just so we can keep track. <laughs> Starting to feel like a fantasy draft. I know. It basically <laughs> is. <laughs> all right. Not the biggest of the bunch. Elizabeth Olsen. Damn, dude. I mean, if you would have told me when I was watching Full House that those little baby girls had a little baby sister. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> For real. Amen to that. <laughs> and that she was going to grow up to have fucking Scarlet Witch's tits. <laughs> yeah. You ever see Old Boy? Yeah, you told me to watch that. And is, did you watch it all? Oh, yeah. Oh, the ending is so fucked. <laughs> it, it, that is very weird uh, extremely weird but even though i came to like her tits in that scene but yeah whatever, right yeah that was fucking weird if, if anybody uh wants a movie recommendation that's one that'll like make you come and then fuck with your head yeah but don't, don't give it away <laughs> let them find out on their own oh, yeah yeah <laughs> damn i wish um the bitch from Beetlejuice. Uh, Winona. Yeah, I wish she she's was on in. there. Is she? Uh, she's in the list. Because, yeah, we run out, but... Um, I, I, yeah, because I started putting people who yeah. didn't show them. Hmm, I'm going to go Ricci. Uh, Christina Ricci. There you go. All right, here. Oh, Fucking solid. Let me, let me scratch her off for us. All right, so I was debating between two earlier, and so this makes it easier. This will be your um, third round. We're third, th- three seats? Yeah, yeah, we're on the third seed now. Okay, three seeds. Um, Kirsten Dunst. Rock and roll. Oh. She's um, she showed them later, but mm-mm. I don't think I've ever seen her in a movie, but I've seen her like the leaks. All right, I'm gonna. Go oh, you s- mean her tits? I'm like, you've seen her in a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, yeah, her tits. I mean, we're at Mammary Madness, Chester. I'm like, we're not talking I'm, about. I'm like, I know you've seen Spider Man. Yeah, we're not. We're not talking about filmographies. We're talking about breasticles. Right. <laughs> Who did you take? Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, yeah. That's that's definitely a a solid three. I mean. Yeah. All right. What else we got? <laughs> Man, I think Ratachowski might have a pull against fucking Sydney. I don't know. I can't keep denying her. <laughs> I, I can't either. I can't. There's no way. Uh, it's the year of the Sydney. Right. Hint, hint. <laughs> um, 
You know, honestly, they're just fucking great. Lindsay Lohan. Dude, for real. She's a beast head. You know she's a beast head. Everybody knows that she's a beast head. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she's a reformed beast head, but it wouldn't be that hard to get her back on the no, 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 fucking no. wagon. Yeah, <laughs> she, she would come party. <laughs> Man, I, I can never pick a gilp in. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, I saw her somewhere. I'm going Reese Witherspoon. Mm-hmm. I love her. She's she, just such and a... And she's got... I mean, she's got nice tits. Like, I didn't realize... <laughs> for a long time that she had shown him. She's got that, I mean, she's clearly fucking beautiful, but she's got that Aniston. Mm-hmm. Aniston's on here late. Because yeah. <laughs> she's another one that hasn't really shown him. She has teased us. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go Angelina Jolie. All right. For the fact that she's shown them multiple times. I mean, she's a fucking babe, too. And the HBO movie Gia. Mm-hmm. was very um, important in my teenage years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, I remember that one. Like, ugh, there's a scene where she just comes out butt naked, like, walking around like it's, like it's just, like, not even a thing. And it's just like, oh, you're so confident. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Ugh. I can see why Brad Pitt left fucking Jennifer Aniston. No shit. There's something about crazy chicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going Kate Upton. Yeah, that's solid as can be. Justin Verlander is a lucky man. Man, and no wonder he's still pitching in the league with big ass titties. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I gotta make sure I stay relevant in her, in her life. Yeah, it's like the fountain of youth, just keeping you young, because you have to keep like on top of your game, keep them titties around. God, I'd have to go back and look, but do you, there's this episode of It's Always Sunny where Dennis, like, breaks down his system for getting chicks, and he calls it the Dennis system, and each, um, yeah, the D, the D is the first one, and it's demonstrate value. <laughs> 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 and I think, like, the last one is the S, and it's, like, separate entirely or something like that. <laughs> And then I just remember, like, Mac had his own system, like, make after contact or something like that. It's like, basically, he's like, he was just getting Dennis's sloppy seconds. <laughs> and then Frank had his own system, too. Oh, God. And he was just getting Max the sloppy thirds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a great show. I bet their writing rooms are fucking great. Oh, for sure. All right. Um... This might not be one you've heard of before. I'm going to go with Alice Eve. I think she's been on prior ones, but I'm going to look her up real quick. She's been in some indie movies, but she was also in uh, the second Chris Pine Star Trek oh, movie. Oh, yeah. she. I remember her now. She made it pretty fucking late last year. She's a babe. She reminds me of... Um, do you remember the teacher in Billy Madison? She also played Sonya Blade. In right. the Mortal Kombat movie, <laughs> she did. Not her, but oh. I'm, I'm, I'm saying oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that chick that played. Uh, yeah, she looks like her to me, kind of. But yeah, those tits are just they're, mm. they're fucking amazing. Yep. All, All right. right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> God damn. And I mean, there may be some I just flat out didn't think of. So if, if you have some that you've been hanging in there, I mean, there's the big ones, you know. See, I love, I love Miley, but I feel like I can get her on a later round. I saw some pictures of uh, Jamie Lee Curtis nude, and uh, what was that Schwarzenegger movie she was in? Well, she was in True Lies. True Lies. But she was a nude in that one, but she had a lot of cleavage. She wasn't? No. She was nude in Trading Places, and then also a few others. I thought she was. All right, well. I'm well, surprised you don't remember her tits from Trading Places. That was like one of the memorable thing, things in that movie. I don't, mm-hmm. know, I don't know if I've seen Trading Places. Oh, uh, with uh, fucking Dan Aykroyd and uh, Eddie Murphy? I think uh, that's what it is. Let me pull up her tits real quick before I make the selection. Oh, they're nice. I, I'm not sure if I like the nips, though. <laughs> yeah, the nipples look like my nipples. They're too well, that was Nev Campbell. Whatever you just clicked on there, that was Nev Campbell. Oh, it was. <laughs> oh, yeah. How the fuck did Nev Campbell end up with Jamie Lee Curtis? This fucking won't zoom. Oh, there we go. Damn, those are nice tits. Damn, do I take her fourth, though? I don't know. I don't know. Let, let's uh, let's see what Allison Brie looks like. I like Allison Brie. She's just like she's um married to Dave Frank, or I don't think she's married, but she's with Dave Franco. Oh yeah. All right. Fuck it. I'm gonna take Allison Brie. She's yeah. She's a hottie. <laughs> and she shows her tits a lot too. All right. Allison like, Brie. It is. She was in that show Glow. Which I haven't I seen fucking, that one. Oh, that's a great show. That's where Betty Gilpin's from too. 
Uh, well, I mean, amongst other things. She was, I think, in, like, Nurse Jackie or some shit like that. All right. And she was also in Saving Money. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on to the fifth round. All right, I'm going to throw a dart out there. Ashley Graham. All right, I'm going to write her down. I'm going to look her up, too. She is a um, well-known plus-size model, and I like them curvy. Yeah. I just want to see them titties for future reference. Oh, yeah, dude. God damn. She's pretty hot. Is that her? Second doll? <laughs> Who knows? Good lord. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, none of those look that familiar to me. Maybe I spelled it wrong. How do you... Um, Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y, Graham, G-R-A-H-A-M. Yeah? I don't know. Yeah, well. Is she a white? Or? Uh, she looks kind of um, oh, Latino or native, maybe. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'll look. I don't know. All right, let's see what we got here. I think this is, this is like more of an accurate picture there. All right, yeah, all right, right on. And then there's always the uh, pregnant picture. Gotta like that one. Fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, she's got some thick... She would be one for the fucking ass contest. Yeah, most definitely. All right, I guess I'm going to go Eva Green. Eva Green is great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with um, Amanda Seyfried. All right, let's see. Chester East. Amanda Seyfried. All right, so Boo says, before we started this... We wanted to do some legacy competitions. Do we want to do this in the beginning rounds? How do we want to rig this? We're going to clearly let you guys know we're going to rig this. All right, so how, if, where are we at now? Maybe what we... What do we just do? Like, do we just do three seeds, four seeds? I've got one more fifth round pick. Let's finish that one, and then we'll come back and get our legacy uh, battles, mm -hmm. and then fill those in, like, to later rounds. Okay, yeah. To where we have our legacies going against each other. Well, we could put the eight and nines are still available, and the sevens and tens are working. Put one legacy in one and one legacy in the other. Okay. All right, well, yeah, let's finish out the fifth, and then we'll, we'll do seven and ten on two different brackets, west and east. Sounds good. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, what you got? It's, it's your up, right? Uh, yeah, l let me see your sheet. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I'm just going to go Linda Carter because her tits are fucking fantastic. Yeah, G.A. Wonder Woman. Yeah. I was wondering, like, if I put that on there, if you know, somebody would recognize that. Well, <laughs> if anybody doesn't, they're missing out. That fucking bitch was beautiful. Hell yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, like, what's her fucking name? The one that does it now? The modern Wonder Woman? Oh, uh, what is her name? Uh, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot, All right, yeah. She's cool, but she doesn't have Linda Carter's tits. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's let's do our legacy yeah, stuff. Yeah, all right, so the legacy rounds, explain it a little bit, Chester. All right, so we have a couple of contestants that are... We have a couple mother-daughter combos here. Yes. Um, I mean, honestly, I bet we could probably find a few more if we really did some digging. Probably. But um, well, we got a couple here, and maybe this is a feature, like, we'll highlight more... Uh, and Memory Madness 2025. But for now, we've got two pairs of legacies. Yes. All right. So, uh, we, did we decide to do these at the, what, did we say the 8 9? Um, so. Or the 7 10. Uh, yeah. How are we it's 7 seed against 10 seed, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, either or, either or. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do 7 10. We'll scratch those off. All right. And that's so, gonna we'll be... do a couple 7 10s. Right, yeah. right, right. All right. So, 7 10. I'm just going to, for both of them, put the older, the mother, yeah. ahead of the daughter. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll go Heidi Klum. All right, Heidi Klum. Lenny Klum. All right. Ellie and I, by the way. Uh, what, what was it? I'm sorry. Uh, Lenny, Ellie, and I. All right, scratch them off or we don't pick them again. Yup, yup. And then our next <laughs> one, our next legacy is Uma Thurman. Yeah. And Maya Hawk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Daughter combos. All right. These Stranger Things fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So, yeah, that'll eat up um, a 710. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. All right, so you're on your sixth. We're in the sixth round. All right, sixth seed. Mm -hmm. Betty Gilpin. 
All right. I'm throwing a Gilpin in there. Yeah. I know I know we don't appreciate that name on this pod so much, but yeah. I I appreciate them to us. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't do Gilpins too much. <laughs> We do go all the time. They just usually land in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A right. <laughs> Where they belong. Yeah. All Gilpins belong in the toilet. Every now and then I catch myself, like, having a Trump inflection in my fucking voice. Where they belong. <laughs> the toilet. That's where the, tr- that's where the Gilpins belong. They belong in the toilet. Believe me. Believe me. <laughs> believe me. <laughs> when I tell you I took the biggest scalp in, believe me. <laughs> believe me. One toilet square. <laughs> one square of toilet paper. That was all I needed. <laughs> believe me. Believe me. No skid marks. Believe me. <laughs> is this the real Jamie Presley or is this a porn star? That's definitely her. All right, I'm gonna take. <laughs> I'm taking Jamie Presley. Jamie Presley's great. Um, Let's see here. She kind of break out with those Poison Ivy movies, I think. Okay. That was like um, some big time softcore porn back in the day. So huge Skinamax roll. I got. Oh, I got it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, where are we at? Uh, we're on the second sixth round. All right, I think I'm gonna throw a dagger out here. Uh oh. Sophie Rundle. I'm gonna look her up real quick. They're fucking awesome. S O P H I E and then Rundle R U N D L E. Oh, yeah. Good God. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, dude. Alright, Sophie Rundle. Skinny girl, big fucking heavy tits. Yeah, like perfect fucking droopage, too. Mm hmm. Fuck, man. Sleeper mode. Mm hmm. All right, let me, let me see that fucking bad boy. Let's see what we're working with. <laughs> Let's see that bad boy. Let's see what to working with. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know if I've seen um, Amy Schumer's tits. There's some uh, pictures of her when she was pregnant. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm just going to jump out and... Sh- I can't take them that high. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick some mosquito bites, but I fucking love her. Miley. Yeah. I, dude, I just love that she's just such a maniac. Hell yeah. I love Maniacs. Absolutely. lately. Alright. Um, I want to throw out one that to me is like just a girl I, I had a crush on from the first time I saw her. And really, I mean from the first time I saw her in Titanic, but really amped up when I saw her in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, if you've ever seen that movie. Mm. And that is Miss Kate Winslet. Yeah, she's a fucking babe. And you know what? Her tits aren't even like like they're definitely showing their age but i still like i just like them i don't know like i i think i'm just a purist when it comes to tits <laughs> like i like i like it to see like a half deflated tit because i'm like that's fucking real <laughs> yeah yeah I, I like real tits right I, I don't like big fake fucking plastic Mm-mm. even like the order we're getting it's like just give me it all give me uh, yeah just the real slap shit. slap your titty in my face yeah if you got like a pancake to fuck it yeah yeah for sure let me get spatula yeah <laughs> hmm let's see here man i'm gonna run just cat dennings fuck it i'm taking it let's hey see. i mean if she showed them she'd be a number one pick yeah i mean she ain't gonna get far but for a seventh rounder right fuck it i'll take her absolutely all right so we're in the eighth round because we have the mother daughters all right um I'm gonna go with a weird one, Linda Blair. And for those of you who don't know, do you know? Is she the Exorcist? Yep. No shit. <laughs> Let me see. I'm just gonna tell you. She's dead now. Is she? Oh, she died in the '80s. I, I think. love dead titties. Oh yeah, those are nice, dude. Those are some good bacon hangers. Hell yeah, dude. Solid I don't think that's. I don't know if that's her. This is definitely her right here. Over here. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> oh, goddamn shame she died. <laughs> right? So, yeah, Miss Exorcist herself. Doing a deep cut here. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. Um, There's so many great tits out there still. There is. I feel like since we're going horror, I'm going to have to take Jamie Lee. Yeah. Let's just do a horror round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. 
<laughs> oh, now we're in the, the, yeah, the West. Wait, hey. you're just the cutest thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's like the biggest smile I've ever seen of a puppy. <laughs> 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 just like a joker smile yeah she does too. <laughs> just lay down alright so we went Jamie Lee right yeah I went Jamie Lee I'm gonna stick with like going a little older Bo Derek alright I'm not familiar with her but we'll look him up when it comes to the, the next uh, it's a uh, B.O. and then like Derek I guess yeah like, so we're on the 8th right mm -hmm. yeah Bo Derek thanks I'm telling you like our dads wank to her. Like, <laughs> like our dads totally jacked off to her, without a doubt. All right, I'm gonna go. Um, I guess I'm, I'm gonna go Rose McGowan. She's fucking great, and she's one that honestly, when if we ever get to the ass competition, she's got fucking great ass too. Yeah, her tits always looked pretty amazing. I don't know. Marilyn how... Manson is. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like that's when I'm like, why did you do that, girl? <laughs> you could have had so much better. All right. I feel like I'm just like stuck in the past right now, but I'm going to go with a pair of small er on the smaller side for mm -hmm. sure, but legendary tits. All right. Phoebe Cates. Yeah, the saw I almost picked her there before this uh And play. it helps that she's just fucking babe. She is a babe. I mean, and it's not just fast times at Ridgemount High. Like fucking Gremlins, yeah, and Gremlins too, and I know she's been in some other shit that I love. Just from a classic the classic beauty, right? Yeah, it's that was like one of the '80s it girls. Yeah, shit, I didn't even think about putting Molly Ringwald on there. She actually has some nice tits too. She showed them once. All right, we haven't seen them, but goddamn, what I want to give to see them is Sophia Vergara. Vergara. Hey, I don't blame you. I, I mean, I feel like too, like it'll be that one, like. Have you ever, like, always just wanted to see somebody's tits and you finally see them and you're like, mm. But, anyway, not knowing what they look like, I definitely want to see them. I do kind of feel like that about, like, Emma Stone's tits, but at the same time, I'm like, I still just appreciate that she finally did it. Did she? Yeah, and that new movie she's in, um, I, don't, I can't even fucking remember what it's called. It's nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> but, oh, but, like, dragon. she plays this, like, um, it's like this weird movie... Where she's almost like a Frankenstein's monster, yeah. but like more like a fuck doll. <laughs> nice. Well, that that's from an older movie. Oh. A little side titty, yeah. yeah nice little, I think it's called like Finer Things or something. Oh, I can't remember. Nice little little bumps. I mean, she's a fucking babe. There's a lot of fake shit out there. Fair. Yeah, I know. So we're on the second ninth pick. All right, I'm going to go with a, a pair of tits that I personally just really enjoy. <laughs> um, Chelsea Handler. All right. I mean, she's a divisive person. She's very um, outspoken and political, and so people on the right don't really care for her too much, but <laughs> it's hard to deny the tits. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, we're not worried about their politics. We're worried about their titties. Mm -hmm. And she is, like, just not shy at all about showing them. Hmm, let's see here. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Brie Larson. Yeah, I mean, I, I she's had, like, almost, like, a full reveal, damn near it. Like, kind of a nipple popped out in a movie. But the way she looked on, uh, when she was hosting Kimmel. Oh, Jesus yeah. fucking Lord. No, man, I, I mean, I'm right there with you. All right, so I think this is, um... Another pair that I'm just really... Uh, like, it's in my first column. It's the yeah. only one left in my first column. Her name's Kelly Riley. And for those not in the know, she plays, like, the sassy daughter of Kevin Costner in uh, Yellowstone. Okay. And she's a little bit older, but, man, her tits are just fucking great. Is that her out there bathing in the... That's yellow? one of them, yeah. And there's butters. I don't think that's her. Is that her? I don't know. I think your your shit gives you a lot of fakes. <laughs> yeah. This one. Well, that actually is legit, too, but this one right here. That's a fucking babe. That's a MILF. Yep. Yellowstone fans will absolutely appreciate that. Because, <laughs> I mean, she's just, like, she just fucking, like, grabs a dick and fucks it and just, like, go away now. Yes. Like, she's very, like, I don't want to be attached, I but sometimes I got to come. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Man, I, I see her name. I don't have to take her. Julianne Moore, just because, like, we did an episode where we 
relived being in Boogie Nights. Do you remember that night? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> how could I fucking forget? <laughs> <laughs> that one was wild. <laughs> and then we had like a prison fight and Mongo combat. Yeah, that was that was, that was the birth of it. Yeah. All right. So for me, um, Julianne Moore is is all about those nips. She's got small tits, but just like mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with another one who's got some pointers. Jillian Anderson. Yeah. Scully. Yup. She's done some stuff and yeah, like her nipples like fucking out the it's they're great. They're oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love nipples. Susan Sarandon. Uh, <laughs> she's a fucking isn't she dead now? Hell no. No. Uh, she might still be married to Tim Robbins. But um yeah, she's she's fucking still got some great tits, but Oh yeah. Yeah. Who's her daughter? I don't know if she has a daughter. She does because her, she was on Californication. That's uh, not Susan Sarandon. No, but that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, but uh, Susan Sarandon's daughter. Let me, let me look it up. She, uh, yeah, she's on um, Californication. Is she? Yeah, dude. Her daughter's fucking got huge tits. Oh, well, hey, we might have another legacy here. Anyway, yeah, I know who I'm picking. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit, we gotta do it. Well, we'll do it next year. <laughs> All right, so it's my pick. Uh, we're on 11, right? Yeah, all right. So I got to come over here. Susan Sarandon. She doesn't show them anymore, but, I mean, if even if you look at her now, like, she's got... They've gotten dude, fucking bigger. Yeah, this rack, dude. Beautiful rack. And we're taking the tits at their height, because I think that was part of the fact that what got Barrymore in was... It's not like fifty year old Barrymore. It was fifty year or like thirty year old Barrymore before breast reduction. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna take my um my first set of tits that hasn't really been exposed yet. Alright. Selena Gomez. Fuck it, A, dude. Oh my <laughs> god. God damn. <laughs> Has she ever unleashes those? Oh, dude. I'm going to have to call off work for a day. <laughs> yeah, same here. Game over. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, bless what? the maker for making that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's True. my bit. <laughs> you know what? We were talking about this today. We got to get her in there somewhere, and she's slipping. I'm going to take Britney Spears. Yes. <laughs> that's right and if any booze head listening isn't familiar with her latest theatrics well you guys are fucking missing out yeah she should probably be a regular on guy party <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, i'm gonna go jennifer Connolly. i think this is kind of a a sleeper pick at this level yeah because i remember her from years past all right that's oh. a fucking mix <laughs> oh Leela Rose Depp. I loved her in uh, that uh, show on HBO with her nice little perky tits. She's got also some chunky nips, too. <laughs> so, did you watch it? What's the name of that show? They had The Weeknd in it. Um, I don't know. I just seen it, her pictures. <laughs> it was batshit crazy, but it was actually kind of a cool show. But yeah, Leela Rose Depp. Lily. Lily, Lily. Lily Rose Depp. Another legacy. Another um, uh, Nepo. Yeah. Nepotism, ba- they call them Nepo babies. Oh shit, I gotta scratch it off. Um, yeah, no, her tits are very nice. Yes, they are. Alright, um, you know what? I think this is this is a, uh, a deep cut here, but probably shouldn't be. I'm gonna go Pam Greer. Nice. The, the black chick? Yes. That's solid. Jesse, you introduced me to so many wonderful tits. <laughs> I'm a connoisseur. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> All right, I gotta give the nod to the the classic Italian babe, Marissa Tomei. Another small but yeah. seriously, just like spectacular pair of tits. Yep. All right, so we are going into round thirteen. Damn, we're getting down, aren't we? We're getting down to it. All right. Um, I think this is as good as round as any to to go ahead and throw out Amelia Clark. All right, so is that the chick from... Khaleesi. Okay, yeah. She's another one that, like, I could see her getting into the ass comp, too. All right, with that, I'm going to have to go with Katy Perry, one that hasn't shown him, but jugs for days. Jugs for days. And she has, like, come close. Like, she's shown a lot of cleavage. There was a whole thing where she had, like, an Elmo thing on, but it was, like, low-cut and 
She yeah. got in trouble for it. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Um, okay, uh... <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm save that one. <laughs> Alright, um... God, this... I'm gonna go with one that hasn't shown them yet. I'm just gonna go with the ones that I feel like I want to see the most. Mm-hmm. Christina Hendricks. I just, I want to see them fucking tits are... God, God, they're guy, guy, gigantic. <laughs> Let me look her up real quick. Those are fucking enormous. Yes, they are. And I really want to know what's going on underneath. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Alright, where are we at? Curve 13, 13. Yeah, we're in Chester East. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck it, I'm going Winona. That's another one I really... You want to see? Yeah. Like... There's like a nip slip. Not even a nip slip so much. It's like a... Uh... Like, but a little part of her nip came out in an autumn in New York, and just... Dude, when she was in her brawl in season four, Stranger Things, I'm like, Jesus, give it to me, please. Yeah, it makes you want to, like, rub a little Darth Vader lotion on your Ooh. neck and then jerk off into a Golden Girl sock. Yeah, thanks again <laughs> for my new jerk-off kit. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. Being single is hard. <laughs> All right, I am going to do the, uh, the trucky in me. And I'm going to say Jerry Ryan. I don't know her. What, is she from the original trilogy? Or? Nope. No, she is from Voyager. Uh, she played Seven of Nine. Uh, how do you spell her name? Uh, J-E-R-I. And then Ryan, like, it, it should be spelled R-Y-A-N. Okay, not like Ryan Johnson who fucking destroyed the trilogy. Right, not that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Can we be real for a second? Yeah. The fans destroyed the trilogy. You're because good. everybody said Force Awakens was too much like a new hope. Yeah. And so they were clamoring for something different, and then Ryan Johnson tried to give them something different, and they fucking hated it, so they just went back to the drawing board and said, Palpatine. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody was going to be happy. It, right. Because it was 30 years of, let's make our own story in our own head. But, I mean, I, I feel like you and me could have hammered out a better script. For all three movies. Yeah. I really I really do, because I don't think that if we were doing that, we wouldn't do Luke like that. No. I, I feel like we would take the classic trilogy out and slowly introduce the new guys. Absolutely. And then you get 10, 11, 12, everyone gets their last ride, and then you got the new guys, like, let's see where they go next. Right. Right, but, exactly. Yeah. I don't know how motherfuckers getting paid millions of dollars couldn't figure that out. I don't either. I, I mean... That seems pretty obvious to me, but I mean, I understand like when you have a creative property, like a like a screenplay or anything, like it's like too inside your head sometimes. Yeah, and you're overthinking it. And, uh, yeah, right. But Sidebar. yeah, <laughs> and that's why we're writing dudes, and I gotta edit those pods. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, we gotta get back to that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm up in Chester West. I'm on 14th. All right, here you go, buddy. So let me see here. Um, I remember. <laughs> If you have somebody else, I thought about adding Marilyn Monroe to my list, but just as a real throwback. I love this one, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, here, let me scratch her off, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I mean, an important baby, maybe she didn't show him, but you know what? Just as a tribute, because I know I jerked off to them. Even though I don't like <laughs> fake tits, I still jerk to them. Yeah, I do too. Um, she's deceased, but I'm going to give her a nod because she made me come a few times. This is what this is about. That's what this is about. It's, it's appreciating that. Yeah. It's appreciating the women that help us come as teenagers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and adults. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Anna, Anna Nicole Smith. Fucking A. I was um, eyeing her, yeah. Um, God, what was that movie? A skyscraper or some shit like that? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a number of them. The old Skinamax days. Oh, yeah. She was a queen. She was a fucking queen of Skinamax. She was a goddamn queen. <laughs> and, and, and Homegirl was like, she went guy party as fuck and just was like, fuck it, y'all, I'm kind of stupid, so I'm going to marry a rich man, give him a titties, and then get all his money. <laughs> but then she, I don't know, she got on Quaaludes or something. <laughs> fucking got too much money. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm going to look up Nicki Minaj news real quick. I feel like I'm going to love her big black tits. I don't even know if you need to... Uh, see them new to appreciate them. They are pretty spectacular. Oh, uh, yep. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some amazing looking titties. Where are we at? Uh, oh, yeah. 14 on the Chester East. Nicki Minaj. All right. So we're and going I will never um, not 
like appreciate the fact that she came out with a song called Shit It On Him, where she just talks about pooping on people. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucking great. Yeah, I mean, dude, if we ever got famous, like, Steel Panther opens for Nicki Minaj at Guy Party Fest, like, 28. She's like, <laughs> like, one of the lines in that song is, put your number twos in the air if you did it on them. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Like, at first you're like, okay, like, when you say shit on someone, you can... That, that could be taken a few ways. Yeah. But I think she meant literally, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like drop feces on them. <laughs> Shit it on them. Put your number two in the air if you did it on them. Man, she's got some fucking amazing black nips. These bitches is my sons. And we're talking about Phoenix. Um, anyways, um. <laughs> all right. Another pair that I really, really want to see. Mm hmm. And, I mean, you never know. I'm going to go back to the MCU. Yeah. <laughs> Haley Atwell, Miss Peggy Carter. Oh, my God, yes. Uh, who's Marion Cotillard? Um, she was in The Dark Knight. She played, like, the Ra's al Ghul's daughter or whatever like that. She's been in a bunch of shit, too, but she's a French girl, and she's got really nice tits, but... I'm just going Billie Eilish. There you go. Big old fucking bangers. I'm going Billy Idol. <laughs> no, no, I'm not really. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, Billy Eilish. Billy, if you ever show them, you have the potential to be a, a number one seed, just so you know. Yeah, she needs to get in that. That's another Trump sounding thing. Like It's like the more I drink, the more I sound like Trump. <laughs> Billy, if you show the tits, you'll be number one. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Believe me, you'll be number one. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Fucking Isaac. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dude, he nails it. Oh, my God, dude. He has me rolling at work. He's like, welcome to Snap Mark. This is Donald. How can I help you? He welcome first, to Snap Mark. This is Donald. How may I help you? <laughs> it's just the best service desk in the United States. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. Um... Where are we at? We are on our final 15s. 15s? And then we got another one last round All of right. the selection committee pod. All right. Um, I'm going to go with my uh, next pick is Elizabeth Shue. All right. And, um, and what's she from? Okay, so a number of things. Uh, let's go back to Ventures in Babysitting. Leaving Las Vegas with Nicolas Cage. Gotcha. There is a scene where she has her tits out and she's pouring liquor over her tits and it's like drowning into Nicolas Cage's mouth. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's pretty dope. Yeah, um, she, is. she should be a lot higher. She was also in The Boys and um, she was like having her... Like, the the Homeland. No, Homelander wanted to suck her tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. Nice. Fuck, fucking nice. Nice, very nice. Yeah, yeah. All right, here you go, buddy. All right let's see what we got here. Oh man, has, has Rihanna show like has RuPaul oh, a lot? All right, I'm going Rihanna. And let me tell you, they're good. Man, she's lining up against Elizabeth Olsen. I don't know if she's gonna make it out of that round, but anyway. All right, so we are on to on the 16s. 16s last Holy last shit. selection, yeah. Holy shit! All right, Hunter Schaefer. All right, Hunter. It's guy party. We gotta have at least one. What is it, a dude? Oh, the tranny? Yep. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> Hunter Schaefer. That's my 16th seed. <laughs> Let's see here. Ah, fuck it. I'm, I'm bringing in Aniston. I, I think she's gone plastic the older she's gotten. I don't like it because she's on that morning show on Apple TV, but I love old school Aniston. Oh, I mean, back in the day. All right, so I'm down to my last one, aren't I? Yeah, and then we're going to start... Breaking down the brackets. Chrissy Teigen's got some pretty dope tits since she's shown them. But I do love Isla Fisher. Yeah, I kept eyeing her too. I'm going to go Isla Fisher. Okay, because if you didn't, I was going to. <laughs> That's um, Borat's. Yeah, name. yeah. And she's a good looking broad. Oh, absolutely. Alright, I'm going to bring some Mimi Rogers. Look at Mimi Rogers. Her tits right. are. A little like milfish, like in that they're like big and hangy, but they're fucking great. She was in this movie um, called Full Body Massage back in the day. That's some, that some dope ass shit. Yeah, those are some nice hang downs. See that where that dude's holding her, t like massaging her tits? Oh, that too. Mm, fuck yeah. Yeah, um, Tom Cruise got to bang that for a while. Did he? Yeah, they were together for a bit. Nice. 
All right, so now that the, the selection s- committee has ruled, we have met, we have decided the brackets. Now it is time for the tournament. But you must tune in to the next That's episode. Right. That's right. Like you might have your own opinions, but ours are the only that matter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> If you really want to vote, come to Guy Party Fest 3 and vote for the next Hall of Fame member. There you go. <laughs> this one's entirely us. You don't get a vote. Yeah. <laughs> but if you guys want some votes, give us better ideas to where we can include you for the votes. There you go. So, yeah, we're going to wrap this up. The selection committee is met. And on the next, we will meet to decide. We will break it down. We will go tit to tit. Tit to tit, baby. Tit to tit. Mm. And the, may the best tit win. Amen to that. I can't wait to keep looking at these titties. <laughs> 64 tits and only one. Or wait, actually, only two. Yeah. 128 breastnesses and only two will be remaining. That's so, right. So be sure to tune in. Tell your friends. Come to Guy Party Fest 3. And then we will see you motherfuckers soon. I hope this is going to be a, a, a re- weird sidebar, but... I hate one of these days we get a contestant with just one tit. <laughs> like, it was like pirate with a patch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, like, one fucking, like, awesome tit. So we can be like, oh, it's 128, 100, sorry, 127 tits. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the most beautiful tit. It's, it's like the best one ever. Yeah. And the other one's been cut off from breast cancer. Oh, uh, no, no, no. no. It, it was lost in battle. I lost in battle, okay. Yeah, because... <laughs> Cancer's too depressing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, it well, was lost in a Jude Law incident. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so until the to, next to be continued. To be continued. Uh, Tune in next time. <laughs> hopefully, your uh, team wins in March. But uh, we'll talk to you soon, and may the best breast win. That's right. Fandle, get on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see some bets. <laughs> until the next episode. Guy party.